study of Job. This is a piece where I tried to really make it ethereal and ghost-like and, and just, and, and I didn't know how to paint it that way. And I kept fighting with it, but as it turned out, it just, uh, it turned out nice. Another happy accident. <laughs> Twins at birth. <laughs> this is one of those things where I had, I, the thought popped into my head and I started laughing. And I sat down and sketched it out and I was laughing. And I'm painting and I'm trying to keep the airbrush steady because I'm laughing and it was just a fun piece. And I knocked this sucker off in like a day and a half. It was just so cool. But lots of times when I go to a convention, a bunch of us would sneak away from the con and go like through the, the shopping mall across the street or something like that. And just have fun and mess with the locals. <laughs> and invariably, anywhere I went, people would go, oh, is Cats in town? Or they'd go, oh, Vincent, Vincent. And I got so tired of hearing, Vincent. And I go, he looks nothing like her. So I painted this. <laughs> For me, the, the show was a television show. I enjoyed it, but I wasn't like a die-hard fan. And so I always see little twists and things and, and <laughs> concepts. And I thought, okay, this would be a fun piece to do. And this is like, I'm going to see the humor in it. <laughs> But I titled it, In Your Dreams, Bub. <laughs> wound up doing a lot of cover, uh, comic book covers and then got into uh, mainstream book covers because uh, P.N. Elrod was a friend of mine and she got me doing some covers of hers which were vampire novels and then she wound up writing a Murnau there's also two short stories in various anthologies, and she's going to put a lot more. She's actually going to do the sequel to The Adventures of Murr, and it'll be posted on her website, or you can download it through her website or something like that. So uh, uh, her website is vampirewriter.com, or just look up piano Uh This one I was always fascinated with uh, Linda Hamilton's face, because it's so unique and, and uh, it's such a challenge to get it right. And so I tried to get as many different looks as I could. There's the, the glamorous studio shots for press and stuff like that. And at the time, she had just released that one where she's dying. Uh, go, I forget the name of it. Go Towards the Light. Yep. yep. And of course, had to do uh, uh, Terminator. But it's such a great face. And then the one down there, uh, well, okay, we'll get to it. The, the one in the white, the uh, third row, that one. This one I really like a lot because it's just very simple and, and plain. And I heard through the grapevine that Linda likes this one a lot too. Uh, the one, number 60, is Caitlin Ohini which I did in Mukha style. Because <coughs> she just had that classic turn of the century look. Cutting Edge is another Murr piece, which is kind of fun with Murr slashing through the, the canvas. <laughs> And there's Jay. What can you say about that? <laughs> I tried to do a companion piece with this one and the next one. This is study of Vincent, the other one is study of, of uh, Catherine. And I just could not get the Catherine one right and it didn't match and I'm not happy with this one at all. Because Catherine, uh, Linda Hamilton's face is so hard to do right. And so I like the Vincent one, I'm not too thrilled with this one. 
If anybody has any questions, just pop up because we've got to zip through these quick. Do, 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 do. Maybe, are you going to do any more book covers? No. No, actually, I quit painting in 2001. I haven't done anything since. Um, this is uh, that's Marina in Belgium, and she asked if if I would do a piece with her and uh, Mer. And so I found this cool sunset reference and the, the unicorn and the whole bit. So this is just a, a personal commission piece. It's the architecture. She's got the strange cheekbones and a perky little nose. And if you don't get them just right, see, like there, it's not quite right. And this one of Catherine bothers me. But I love the piece itself. Because, you know, it, it's like people living in the tunnels and all these weird things happening. You know, it's, it's classic X-Files. 